more and more attacks on our power grids. Thousands and thousands of people lose power on Christmas and it didn't even have to do with the crazy storm. As I warned you about a week ago, following the North Carolina attack on the power grid, I told you in this video right here, that the Homeland Security had been tipped off about six other states that were supposed to expect additional attacks on power grids. Four more attacks on power substations on Christmas. What a wild winter we're just going into, having this monstrous bomb cyclone storm come down and punch America in the gut. Lots of people suffering from that one alone with the death toll rising. But let's get you guys the latest information on these four attacks on Christmas Day. You're gonna wanna know more about this because there's more attacks coming. Welcome back to all the subscribers and thanks for watching our videos. If you're brand new here, like news that affects you, prepping tips, emergency preparedness how to, be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Okay, so let's get you guys some information on these brand new four attacks on substations. This morning I looked at the power outage map and there was about 100,000 residents that were out of power in the state of Washington. And Bloomberg reads, Washington state power stations attacked are the latest assault on the grid. Thousands lose power on Christmas after four attacks on power stations. It also reads, this follows North Carolina incidents that prompted the FBI probe. This is exactly why we put out so many videos on emergency heat, emergency preparedness. You don't have to be a prepper to have a mindset of emergency preparedness, being ready for the storm. Another great reason to tune into our channel because we're gonna mix it up every single week. I'll let you know what's going on and what might affect you. And we're also gonna be giving you guys tips on how to handle the emergencies. This article came out December 26, 2022, 7.52 a.m. Four power substations in Washington state were attacked on Christmas day, disrupting service to thousands of residents. Just weeks after gunfire at an electricity facilities in North Carolina prompted an investigation by the FBI. I wonder how the old FBI is actually doing on this investigation. We get crazy comments. Some people say it's Antifa. Some people say the FBI is involved. Regardless, we know one thing attacks on power stations are happening. Law enforcement agencies are now investigating at least eight attacks on power stations in four states in the past month that have uncensored the vulnerability. It remains unknown if they were connected. Well, my assumption is an attack on the power grid probably all is intertwined by the same people with the same agendas. The most recent incidents outside of Tacoma, Washington, thousands were left without power after vandals forced their way into four substations and damaged equipment. In one case, leading to a fire. I saw some video of this. It was blue flames. It looked pretty scary. According to Pierce County Sheriff's Department, in all 14,000 people were left without power from that attacks on substations owned by Tacoma Public Utilities and Puget Sound Energy, according to the Sheriff's Office, which said most power has been restored. Well, let's check that out real quick. Well, it looks like there's still quite a few people without power in Washington. Well over 50,000 people. In fact, Washington looks like they're struggling the most out of the United States with power outages at the current moment. Let's take a closer look. Looks like in Kitsap County, they've got at least 10% of the people out of power. Up here in Whatcom County looks pretty bad. Clallam County over here on the Pacific side, they're still struggling. They've been struggling for a few days now. Snohomish, King County, and it looks like Douglas County as well. So when it comes to that sheriff's office, looks like a lot of people are still struggling without power. It is unknown if there are any motives or if this was a coordinated attack on the power systems, the sheriff's office said in a statement. What do you guys think? Do you think this is all connected? All of these attacks? Because like I said in this video, which I'll leave at the end screen for you if you missed it, Homeland Security has been tipped off on multiple states they received word that more attacks are coming. And so how is it in question not related? Report goes on, the attacks come just weeks after gunfire at two substations in North Carolina caused 45,000 homes and businesses to lose power. And we touched on that in case you missed that video right there. Those weren't the only power stations attacked, but the North Carolina incident is what got all the attention. In January, the US Department of Homeland Security warned in a report that domestic extremists have been developing credible, specific plans to attack electricity infrastructure since at least 2020. So who's behind 
the attack on our power stations. I don't think it's going anywhere. In fact, Homeland Security said it was gonna be an ongoing issue, as if we don't have enough issues already. Epic year of inflation. Next year looks like it's gonna be the epic year of recession and some economists worrying depression. So along the same lines of power outages, extreme attacks on substations. Not only do we have to deal with that, but we have to deal with this very bizarre weather that's taking a lot of power out too. And we're not even cresting over the hill of winter yet. So are we gonna see more attacks on power stations? Well, if they've been planning it since 2020, I would definitely bet on that being a hard yes. Are we gonna have ongoing power outages with massive storms that don't seem normal? Yes on that one too. In fact, many meteorologists are already talking about this huge storm coming from the west now. Now it may not have as much snow and cold temperatures, but there's a lot of moisture coming in this one. So brace yourselves for more hard situations coming this winter. We're talking about power outages, extreme weather. You want to be prepared the best you can. So be sure to tune in. I will keep feeding you guys a bunch of how-tos, emergency preparedness videos. That way, hopefully you guys can be better off when you're trying to weather the storm. I spend a lot of time in the comments down there. Be sure to give me any stories that you guys have got, experienced or seen. If you have pictures or video, please send them to the email. Stay safe out there, guys. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.